One of the very unique attributes of, of Open Buildings Designer is the ability to model objects complete with all their information properties with no restrictions on how that geometry may look. So let's take a look at uh, a couple of examples here. If we use the wall tool from Open Buildings Designer, you know, we can use say, a concrete wall here and quite simply place a wall like this from point A to point B and click on the screen and click or right click and we get ourselves a concrete wall. Now for the majority of walls we'll ever design, this easy approach to designing a, a wall that's thrown up and down is, is suffice. But sometimes, you know, we'll, we'll need to um, model things with a, with a degree of complexity. And the way we may do that is by going to our modeling tools um, within Open Buildings itself. So um, within the modeling tools here, you know, we have our solids and surfaces and so forth. And I'll just set our part and family back to nothing just so we can have an example of what we mean here. So I would start off with the surfaces tools. And this, this gives a good demonstration of our history-based modeling as well. And I might start off by using the construct surface tool and simply rotate the Aki draw compass to the side. I could even latch onto the top here and hit O for origin and, and draw a, a wall side by side, just like that. So what we could do now is give this wall some thickness and turn it into a solid. Now remember, the history is still all within this object as we go. So using our, our thicken tool, you know, this particular wall here was a thickness of 200. So let's do the same, give it a thickness of 200. And you can just see that that's flicking to the other side. So what we may do is just move that backwards. And then we have ourselves, you know, something that resembles um, the same shape that we, that we already have. Now, in order to give this extra wall a bit of meaning, you know, I want it to be concrete, we both want it to look like concrete and feel like concrete and have the attributes of concrete. We can go back to our building design ribbon bar and to the data reporting area and say attach. And what we can do here, this will list all our pre-built and customized catalog items and catalog types that we have within our system. So if I just type in wall, it will go to the wall area here. And from within here, I can then send the search field type in concrete and it will list all our concrete type walls. We can change some of the attributes here if we like, but then we click on our, our solid just like so, and we have uh, a solid now, which has got all the attributes that our wall tool does, or our wall does. Now the trick here to see the, the, the flexibility of this is to now click on the wall itself, you'll get these two little widgets. These widgets indicate two things. One is the extrusion, so the, the, the width of the wall. The second, the second one would be the initial solid uh, surface. So the, the surface is still contained by history within this wall. And if we were to grab one of these handles, we can bend our wall over like that, okay? So we're not restricted to the geometrical inflexibility of what some of the tools might provide. If we need to branch out and do a little bit more, more to our wall, we can. Just to demonstrate how, how this may look, Let's go to the properties of this wall. And we can see now that we have all the properties of the wall listed here. It will also appear in our schedules and you know, we get the same properties from our standard type wall as well. But the, the interesting key thing here is our history. So we, we retain the history and the buildup of how the wall was created. So it was created from a B-spine surface, thickened to a solid, and then given some item type information, which was the in situ concrete wall. And just to double check that this looks as we expect within, within a drawing itself, what you might do is let's turn off the camera, rotate to a, a right view, so we're looking at it in elevation. And we'll come over here to our drawing production tools and grab the floor plan here. We'll just choose the seat here, uh, floor plan, and we'll just run a little call out across the wall like so, and then project it down to a level.
We'll turn off everything and just produce a view. And if we hover over uh, our call out, we can hit the apply plan tool. And you can see here, we're given a plan. We might just change the display style to a white background so we can see black on white. And you can see two walls here. We've got the unification in the middle, two different object types, but two different things. So we can see how that's bent over there like that.